Welcome back guys, it's freezing here in the UK today, so I'm gonna keep this one relatively short. Is your steering wheel wobbling when you're doing about 50 to 60 miles an hour? If it is, it probably means that your tires need rebalancing. I actually had this on mine when I ran the uh, Accelera budget tires with the calm wheels, and they were an absolute nightmare to balance. So bear that in mind, if you do buy budget tires, they are gonna be more difficult for your tire garage to, uh, to balance. But it's not an expensive issue. If it is a case of your tires need rebalancing, just take them to the garage. It's normally like, you know, 10, 15 pound a corner. So it's very easy for them to do. Ultimately, the trick for the garage is to try and balance your tires using as fewer weights as possible. If you'll notice, like with mine, I'll show you, the fronts do have fewer weights than the rears and the garage will always try and do that. They'll always try and use the uh, the wheels that have got the fewest weights on the front because it just, it makes it easier and you don't have any steering wheel wobble. So what are the causes? Now, when tires are manufactured, they're not all completely round. So this is the reason why they have to be weighted when the uh, the tire garage puts them on the wheels. The quality of the tire also plays a major part in it as well. What you'll find is budget tires just aren't as round basically as the, uh, the, the branded tires. So they are a bit more difficult to balance. The weights could have literally just fallen off your wheels. It could have been an age thing. They just unstick themselves and fall off. So again, it could just be they're no longer weighted and they need fresh weights putting on them. You may have driven over uh, like a curb or a pothole or something, and that does change the balance of the tire sometimes, believe it or not. So that again is worth getting checked. If you're in a four by four, check you haven't got like a ton of mud just caked up on the inside of your wheel. Obviously mud weighs a ton. And if you do have that, if you've been off-roading, then literally something like that can affect how your front wheels are balanced. So literally, if you do have that, just give them a good hose down and try it again before you go and spend money on getting your tires and, and wheels rebalanced. Also bear in mind that the bigger the wheel and the bigger the tire, the more weight it generally takes to get it balanced. So if you're running 22s or something even bigger than that, then do expect to be you know, quite weighted up on your wheels. Um, so again, when you're using your tire garage, do check and try and make sure that they are using the, the fewer weighted wheels on the front rather than the back. A good tip is that some tires do tend to have a little dot on them or a little marker and the better tire garages will actually rotate the tires around to a certain position on the wheel before they inflate them and balance them. Apparently it helps with the, uh, the, the balancing process. So if you've done all that and that hasn't fixed the issue, then it might not be your tires. So at that point, you need to start looking elsewhere. It could be something like your ball joints or your suspension arms that need replacing. Again, it's more unlikely to be that because you probably notice that the, the steering wheel is shaking more consistently at all speeds as opposed to just between 50 and 60 miles an hour you might have a buckled wheel so if you've gone over um, a pothole that also does affect things so again get your wheels checked potentially it could be a warped front disc but again chances are pretty slim because you will notice that your steering wheel is wobbling consistently at pretty much all speeds rather than just in that that sweet spot between 50 and 60 um it might be worth getting a full wheel laser alignment done as well sometimes that can have an effect if none of that fixes it then just sell your car and get a new one so I hope this video helps. If it has, please consider subscribing, drop a comment, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you soon.